I think this one's going to be fun. Um, we're going to find the area of three composite figures. And a composite figure is a shape that's just a combination of other shapes. And uh, so we're going to look at this trash can looking thing, this kind of, I don't know, square boot, maybe, and this ninja star. And the bad news is there's no formula to find the area of a ninja star or a trash can. Um, or a weird square looking boot. Uh, but the good news is there's no formula. and we, we get to actually think about it and figure it out um, using, using our math skills. So, so this will be fun. So let's, um, let's break up these shapes into the smaller shapes that they're made of and then figure out the area of those shapes and add, add them together. So let's start with this, um, I don't know, I call it a boot. Use your imagination. I don't know what it, what it is, like a backwards thick L. Um, let's start with this and um, figure out what its area would be. So we can look at this um, as a combination of a rectangle and a square. All right. So if we find the area of the rectangle and the area of the square, um, we will be good to go. So are we given enough information here? Um, well, let's see. For the area of the rectangle, uh, we just need to know its its length and its width, and then we can um, we multiply those together to get the area. So we know uh, the the length is eight. So I'm gonna say the area of the rectangle is. I guess I call that the length. Uh, maybe someone else would call that the width. It doesn't matter. One dimension by the other dimension. So we're gonna do eight times whatever it is this way. Um, so how how what is what is this distance here? I don't have that measured. Um, this whole thing here is ten units. Um, so how can we figure out what this uh, what this length is? It's not quite the ten ten units. Well, I know that this over here is three. This is three. This side length is three. Um, Let's we'll switch colors. That's three. Uh, that means this side length is three. If I've got this whole length as ten units, and then this part of the length is three, then what does that make this? It makes that seven, because then I've got seven plus three is this whole length of ten. So uh, the width of the rectangle is seven. So I'm gonna do eight times seven. It's gonna look like this. This is what we're doing. Eight times seven. Um, so the area of the rectangle be fifty six units squared. Uh, I didn't label the units, so we're just gonna call them units uh, squared is the area. And then we can tack on the area of this square. Well the area of the square is just the side squared. Uh, all these all these sides will be three. Right, so three times three, three squared, uh, would be be nine. So nine units squared. So the total area of this composite figure would be fifty-six units squared plus nine units squared, uh, which would be sixty-five units squared. So we just broke it up into a rectangle and a square. We know how to find the area of a rectangle and a square. So uh, all we have to do is find those individual areas and then add them together to get the whole composite area. All right, okay, this trash can here, let's check this out. I don't know if you noticed, but I, I added in a little little given here, a little specification um, to make this easier on ourselves, actually to even just to make it possible. So um, if you feel like something just popped into existence here, you were right. All right, so let's look at this, let's look at this trash can. Uh, the height is 10 centimeters. It's a mini trash can. Um, so this this whole length here is 10 centimeters. And from the bottom of the trash can to where the curvature starts um, is 7 centimeters. And I'm just specifying that the, the top of the figure is actually a semicircle, just which is what it looks like. But um, if they don't tell you specifically, you can't, you can't really assume that. So this is a semicircle or half a circle. All right, well, what can we derive from that? Um, well, first of all, let's split this trash can into a rectangle and a half circle. 
which which we can find the areas of fairly easily. And let's see what we know. So from from the bottom to where the curvature starts, um, it's, se it's seven centimeters. So the width of the rectangle is seven centimeters. Do we know uh, the length of the s of the uh, rectangle? Well, not yet. Um, so let's see what else we can figure out. Um, if from the bottom to the top is 10 cent centimeters, and from the bottom to almost to the top is 7 centimeters, what is this length here? Well, 3 centimeters plus 7 centimeters equals the full length of 10 centimeters. So that means we know that the radius of the circle um, from which we're getting the half circle is 3 centimeters. Okay. Well, that, that's enough to calculate the area of the circle. The circle would be um, pi r squared, um, pi, and the radius is 3, 3 squared. And then we're just going to chop that in half, so we just get the area of the semicircle. OK, um, so let's get that. So 3 squared is 9, so this is really um, pi. pi times uh, 9 divided by 2, so pi times 4.5 um, just grab calculator so we can get pi pi, hit the pi button times 4.5 so the area of the semicircles is roughly um, 14 centimeters squared Okay, um, now does this, the, does this help us get the length of the rectangle? Well, if the radius is 3 centimeters, then the radius is 3 centimeters, and the radius is 3 centimeters, which means the diameter is 6 centimeters, and the diameter is just the top of this rectangle. It's just a line that goes straight across from a point on the circle to the point on the circle and through the center of the circle, and that's 6 centimeters if if the radius is three centimeters um, so then we can find the area of this rectangle that's um, six times seven length times width so forty two centimeters squared so we just need to add uh, this is a, approximately fourteen centimeters squared so we rounded we used pi in there um, and then we got a big decimal, so we just rounded to 14 centimeters squared. So we'll just, it's approximately 14 centimeters squared for the semicircle, and then exactly 42 centimeters squared for the rectangle. So we've got uh, 14 centimeters squared plus 42 centimeters squared, which through some crazy coincidence that I did not plan is the same total area as this composite figure. That was pretty cool. I wish I had planned that. Uh, Alright, so 56 centimeters squared is the area of this composite figure. Um, this lesson is going on a little long, so I'm not going to make you go through this composite figure, but you can, you can try this. Um, based on the fact that you know the figure includes four equilateral triangles, meaning the, uh, the sides all have equal length um, of three centimeters, can you calculate the area of this composite figure? So you'd find the area of each triangle, um, find the area of one of the triangles, multiply by four, find the side length of this thing, uh, and find the area of it based on what you know about the triangles. Add them up, boom, you are good to go.